Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about how to download and install Python on our computer and then we're also going to go ahead and download an IDE which is Integrated Development Environment. It is basically a tool with a lot of functionality like debugger, compiler, editor all in one place. So we're going to be downloading PyCharm as, an, as our IDE. So first of all, let me point out that I'm using a Mac, but it's going to make no difference at all. So if you're on a Windows device, don't worry, it's going to work all the same. There's just going to be a slight difference, which I'm going to be pointing out along the way. Basically, the difference is just the interface. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the Python website, which is python.org. And we're going to go to the downloads tab. And since I'm using a Mac, it's going to spit out Mac for me, but if you're using Windows, it's going to give Windows itself, or you can just go manually. And we're going to go ahead and download the latest version, which is 3.6.4. Let me download that. And once it's downloaded, just go to your download folder and open it. So there's going to be an installer. It's going to be the same for Windows. Just continue, continue, and you read your license agreement real quick continue, agree, and then go ahead and click install. Since I already have it installed on my computer, I'm not going to go ahead and install it again, but you guys go ahead and install it. So once you install this, you should get something called IDLE that has been installed on your computer. So if you're using Windows, go to your start menu and search IDLE. But here I'm going to basically, oh, I have it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in IDLE on my search, and it's going to give you something like this. So this is basically an interpreter, which is you, you can give it commands and it's going to give you outputs. So for example, you can do arithmetic operation, operations like, like that, or you can also give it commands like print hello world, ta-da. So we're not going to go ahead and mess around with it right now. So we're going to go ahead and download PyCharm. So the website for PyCharm is jetbrains.com. So we're going to go down and scroll. OK, yeah, download the tools you need. So we're going to go ahead and let me close this. We're going to go ahead and download PyCharm and download. So one main thing about this thing is it has a professional edition and a community edition. So if you're just starting out, you don't need the professional ed uh, edition. You can just go ahead and download the free community edition. It is free for all. Or if you are a student or instructor, you can actually get the professional version for free. Uh, you, you just have to go, well, let me just keep on downloading. First. Yeah, you just have to go to this uh, personal-like looking thing. And you can sign up. To make an account and you log in and you verify your account and if you have a .edu email address it's going to be verified and you just get your license ID. So since I'm a student and I have a .edu email address I have downloaded the professional version. You can also uh, use it as a trial version but if you're just starting out again just go ahead and download the community version. So let, let's just wait till this thing downloads. All right it is download. Download it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay, let me close my Chrome first. And basically, if you're using a Windows, you're going to have a uh, window that says, do you want this file to make changes to your computer? You just say yes. And on a Mac, you just drag this thing to your applications. Since I already have it installed on my computer, I'm not going to go ahead and do it. So once you've installed it on a Windows, go to your Start menu. But on Mac, just go, in, uh, go ahead and type in PyCharm on your search bar and then it's going to open so yeah if you if you have downloaded the community version I think it's just going to uh, open itself but if you uh, downloaded the professional edition you can either evaluate for free I think that's the trial version or you can just log in with your account I'm just going to go ahead and log in with my account because I have one and we're going to wait till it verifies which is taking a little bit time okay yeah so 
there you go. That is how you download Python and that is how you download PyCharm.